Do you feel a sort of, is there a, a sort of religious vocational element in your work? I mean, do you feel that your faith has influenced where you've ended up in terms of the projects you're working on? Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like the work you're doing has, um, you know, not that all or any work can't have um, sort of altruistic implications, but you're, you're working in an area where you're trying to help people who are in particular distress, maybe yeah. it sounds like. Yeah. And do you think that that's connected to your religious faith or has it been it's, a it's series of providential acts? It. No, it's, it's definitely influenced by it. Uh, it used to be that we just thought about, you know, what work are we going to do based on, um, like, is it hard or is it easy? Well, we're at MIT, we want to do stuff that's hard, you know. <laughs> is it really cool and novel or is it just kind of lame, like anybody could do it? You know, we want to do, you know, cool, novel, hard stuff, right? Well, I've added another dimension and challenged my students to think about this dimension too. Is it something that's really going to make people's lives better or is it, and actually we don't want to say it's going to make people's lives bad because nobody wants to say their work makes people's right. lives bad. So we'll just say it does a little good or it does a lot of good. And so we're trying to add this third dimension and see if we can do stuff that does a lot of good. And it means that when you're thinking about building something like an AI, you think, okay, is this really going to make people's lives better or is this just going to put people out of work and get you a lot of papers published? And so we're adding these other dimension, this, this other dimension to uh, ask the question. I, I can't say we can perfectly optimize with respect to that dimension, but we can at least add it to the criteria as we think about what we want to work on.